Virtual Train School was founded through the initiative of Mayor Frito C. Alzaga and Mr. Canuto Mon Marcos on April 25, 1972. It is situated at Palagal Norte, Gataran, Cagayan. It is a school that is committed to make black work. Primarily provide the youth with quality, technical, vocational, secondary education and training relevant to the needs of students, the community where they live, and the survival in college. Graduation Day is one of the most important moments in a student's life as it marks a transition from one stage in his or her educational life to another. It is not so much an ending, but a new beginning. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the fourth commencement exercises of Gatara National Trade School Senior High School Department School Year 2020-2021 with the theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. This is Mom Gwendolyn R. Fernandez, your moderator. The processional, the graduates, automatic servicing, and C2.
high school coordinator, the two department heads, school heads, public schools district supervisor, and the keynote speaker. Please rise for the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the opening prayer. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Kayang mag-ibig sa Diyos ang sinahanan, alam na puso sa hindi po rin buhay. Upang hinirang, huyag na nang mag-ibig sa pagdurupin, sinapasisi. Dr. 
Orlando E. Manuel, Erected Public Schools District Supervisor of the Tarn East District, Dr. Roberto D. Trujillo Jr., our dependable school head, Madam Principal Reydan F. Lima, the academic head teacher of the related subjects department, Mrs. Gloria D. Lita, the ever supportive and passionate senior high school coordinator, Dr. Derek F. Despar, the school's dedicated faculty and staff, municipal officials headed by the honorable Mayor Matthew C. Lasso, Barangay and PA officials, stakeholders, parents, fellow graduating students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This journey has been a roller coaster ride and the longest street for the past years. However, those drastic changes that we've encountered definitely help to mold us for ourselves today. The entire school community is being proud of what we have achieved and what we've become. Senior high school has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, whatever it may be. graduation rights today, it is time to gather all that we have learned and think about them and celebrate for all our efforts in making it into this level. Truly, we would not have achieved a great fit such as this without the wits, the power, the strength, the grace, and the dedication that would offer us into further development. So for now, or start building our own life right away. So we And for all of us, I would like to say good luck and congratulations. For the presentation of the candidates for graduation, may we have Mrs. Leilani F. Gayuma, School Principal 1 of the Tara National Trade School, to be followed by the certification of the candidates for graduation by the Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Roberto Tungkul Jr. and to be confirmed by the Schools Division Superintendent,
the message of the Secretary of the Department of Education, Madam Leonor M. Briones. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where well, we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take, would not be taking place uh, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially 
in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school tactically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at the time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers association. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, 
I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survive and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and. Perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science, in technology, in mathematics, and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity. The door which will help you know more about this world. And the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country. And contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies, during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do what 
whatever you want to do, God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Use the version of diplomas and confirmation of awards.
the maintenance and C2. Agustin Lance Arnold R. with honors. Alejo John Park L. Ancheta George Allen Jr. D. Ancheta Rowan R. Aquilo Maria Angelica A. Ariola Arvin L. Arevalo Ian D. E. Bakuli Mayan B. Bartolome Abraham P. Minayan Charlie L. Cabildo Angeline P. Kanaya John Albert B. Castro Christy Joy U. Corpus Florisa P. Jordan R. Jacob Lari Jr. A. Kudera Jigar B. Lausilio Eman C. Ligres Christian B. Leanto Carrell Joyce G. With honors. Leanto Leah Jean T. Martinez Erica Joy C. Materum Ralph Kenneth B. Mendoza Kevin J. F. Nicolas Jonathan R. Pagatuan Jasper H. Sean Edwin Jr. V. Rakis M. Raimundo Jezreel M. Rosanna Jericho Dave V. Sabado J. O. Salas Justin K. P. Reynold F. Suniga MJP. Tagara Brian James D. Tamidal Mark Stephen D. Virginia Orlando III P. Ugale Russell Vincent B. Kawili Laika May C. Aguinaldo Kyle Monique S. Agustin Ami D. Agustin Gael C. Alejo Eric G. Alipio Karen. Belanget 
Bolzillo Alton Francis P. Balit Rizume Yu. Sana Krizel Joy L. With honors.
Arlene B. Sa Evan Cassandra K. D. Sa Imakon Joycelyn G. Sa Loza Alvin Jr. B. Ternora Christine L.
teachers in a group conference entitled Senior High School. You all deserve our heartfelt gratitude. My fellow graduates, today is for all of us. Later tonight, let's all look ourselves in front of the mirror. Hot our heads and flash the sweetest and happiest smiles because we will be honest. Whether it be unfortunate experiences in the city or any person who told us that we cannot do it. And yet, we did. Yes, we made it. It has been a journey of highs and lows, a roller coaster ride of emotions. It's not goodbye nor a night because we are not closing the book. But it's now time to flip the pages until the next. To inspire our graduates for today's occasion, we have invited an alumnus of this institution who was the class valedictorian year 2012. He graduated Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering at University of St. Louis to Gigarao year 2018 and successfully passed the board exam in 2019. At present, he is the project engineer for civil works and structural at Plant Managers and Construction Services Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, may we welcome the keynote for today's occasion, Engineer Romelio C. Talamayan Jr. Nine years ago, I'm still fresh in me. I was on this very same event so excited to receive my diploma and award as I was proclaimed a high school graduate from this school. I am completely elated to be part on your momentous day and speak before you as a guest. To our beloved school's division superintendent, Dr. Orlando Emanuel Ceso V, to the school principal of the Tara National Trade School, Madam Leilani F. Gayuma, to Madam Gloria G. Ulita, Head Teacher 3 of the Related Subjects Department, to Dr. Derich F. Gaspar, the Senior High School Coordinator, other guests, to our proud parents, the candidates for graduation, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and greetings of peace and love. This year's theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic, is a very timely issue as we face together a worldwide crisis. Education has been an integral process for everyone because it leads to a better future. Life without education means you will not understand what is really happening around you. Education plays an important role in providing us with adequate knowledge and helps us interpret things and apply the knowledge in real life. Even though education is not limited to classroom settings, we can learn from experience and events, but still, education is the foundation of learning. Education does not only provide us with knowledge, but it also helps us be conscious about our behavior and shaping our character. Going back where I was once a student is struggling yet fulfilling. I used to enjoy the simplest things in life before technology took over the world and COVID-19 pandemic shook the earth. In my early days of education, I didn't have that much. I go to school with a 20 peso allowance. Maghapon ko na ito. There were also times na naubos na yung salary ng parents ko just to send us sa mga national and regional seminars, trainings and competitions, and requirements sa school. Tapos pagbalik namin, here goes again another training. There were frustrations and disappointments, but I graduated high school at the top of my class. 
I felt and witnessed the sufferings of my parents at home. Now, the true battle is in college. Here you will experience the life you will not be expecting. You are fighting for your life and for your degree. I was an academic scholar, not until the point that I failed in my professional subject. It was one of the darkest moments in my life. Umiyak ako, ang sabi ko sa parents ko, ayoko na mag-aral. The mere fact that I study in a private institution, how would my parents afford my tuition fee now? Lalo na ang sabay kaming nag-college ng gusto kong kapatid. My parents told me not to worry about it, and it's good. I continued striving and improving myself to where I should belong. I even encountered rumors that I got failed and I'm wasted. But that's okay. I took that as a challenge for me to strive even harder. Here I am now. I graduated, passed the board examination, and living my dream as a registered civil engineer and works as a project engineer in the construction industry. We are five siblings in our family. We all graduated with our own licenses. See? Kahit gaano kahirap ang buhay, itataguyod tayo ng ating mga magulang para magkaroon ng magandang pinagpapasan. And God always provides solutions to our problems. But everything has been paid off. Words are not enough to thank my parents for all their sacrifices. I offer them my success. Now, as the world continues to fight against the coronavirus pandemic, several institutions were placed in a standstill. Businesses have been stopped, travel restricted, and education halted. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a disruptive effect on public education all around the world. According to the United Nations, 1.6 billion children across more than 190 countries have suffered from school lockdowns, affecting approximately up to 98% of learners worldwide. It is important to understand that education is a long-term investment which will repay our societies in the future. Now is the time to reshape this sector in order to build resilience and to meaningfully engage the youngest generation, which is you, my dear graduates. You have reached another milestone in your lives. Please allow me at this point to congratulate all of the proud parents your gigantic smiles that glitter far more than any medal could. You are the reasons why these students shine. Your parents deserve a well-round of applause for not giving up and for being always supportive. Parapakan tayo na ipinaganda. For the teachers during this pandemic, thank you for being the irreplaceable teacher that you are. Let me quote a very famous line from Mustafa Ataturk, who says, A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way of others. You are the heroes of our nation. Please clap your hands for these heroes. You are now entering college and will be choosing your degrees that you will spend four or five years studying you will be starting your careers. In order for you to be ready to face the challenges of the near future, we need critical thinking and innovation. Learning should not be convinced as mere acquisition of information and notions, but it should be seen as a process of personal development through which each person can understand their strengths and weaknesses and acquire abilities accordingly. Learning isn't about being a passive hearer. Learning should be about human development, 
self-empowerment, and reaching high efficiency standards. Education can do wonders to build confidence in making key decisions of life. If we have adequate knowledge, we can easily understand and accept failure and handle success properly. The only way to reach our career success is to set our life goals where education forms part of it. Everyone wants to succeed in life by earning higher salaries and live a comfortable life, he said. So, learn how to use whatever you have created to make an impact and difference in the life of others. Remember that you are a great masterpiece of God. Then and only then, you will feel successful. A quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. This quote has been my principle throughout my life. Remember this one, because it made me the person I am today. I am ending my message with my heartfelt congratulations to all teachers, parents, and of course, you, grade 12 students, for a productive year ahead, and with a fervent prayer that God be with you on your continuing journey, on your quest to a meaningful and purposeful life. Salute to all parents and the graduates of the Tara National Trade School for the school year 2020-2021. Thank you and mabuhay tayong lahat. Leilani F. Gayuma, School Principal 1 of Gitara National Trade School, will now give her words of gratitude. To our indefatigable school students, Dr. Orlando Mikonel, our active public school system supervisor of the Tarang District, Dr. Berlin Trubon-Sinar, Principal Officials, headed by Mayor Matthew Sinalasco, Barangay and City Officials, other stakeholders, and our beloved parents, hard-working faculty members and facilitating staff, our dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen, to everyone who is gratefully attending this graduation ceremony for our dear graduates of Spooly 2020 and 2021. Blessings and happiness. We are so much blessed and grateful that we have successfully hard out this Spooly year despite of this COVID-19 pandemic. As we have joined together, we have experienced a lot of challenges, but we were able to overcome everything and manage to continue education via the military through our post-traumatic efforts. We owe this success to our new faculty and staff who have performed their duties and responsibilities in a passionate way with commitment. Thank you very much for working so hard to help our learners. Special mention to our beloved parents for your understanding and unconditional love to our children, being our partners in guiding and teaching. As you know, the continuing education that took place at home was the best learning experience that we have had. From the time spent with them up to the activities undertaken through your supervision as have been the most Congratulations to you, dear parents, for overcoming those challenges that this pandemic has brought to us. Let's not forget, of course, the parallel perseverance of our community leaders, our other officials, PTA and SPC officials, and stakeholders who are always there, assisting, extending, and strengthening support in all our school activities. To achieve the goal of providing basic education for our students. Today, 
as we part another milestone in your lives. Our resilient pathways. We offer our thanksgiving places, most especially for Almighty Father, for everything that we have gone through, for all those years and doubts, for everything that has been done and you. Today, your efforts have been paid off. May you all continue your journey in search for opportunities to grow longer, safer, and healthier for a brighter future. Congratulations and best wishes, graduates. In your next journey to more employable you close you. May we all continue to be working collaboratively to continually improve our programs. To be able to deliver quality Continuously work harmoniously for the benefit of our youth. Thank you. Let us now witness the singing of the graduation song titled Moments by Julie Jordan by the select graduate students.
said I might should be apologetic with sense of pride and accomplishment despite the pandemic are still